the terrifying case of the zombie deer disease. Chronic waste disease. The zombie deer disease is called chronic waste disease. It causes damage of the deer's brain. Loss of body condition, behavioral changes, salvation and death. The disease is transmitted directly through animal to animal contact, making the deer's basically turn into an actual zombie. Thankfully, there have been no reported cases of the disease infecting humans. However, scientists are actually worried that the disease could spread to humans. Do you think the disease will infect humans? This woman tried to marry Charles Manson in 2014, the reason why will shock you. She was 17 years old when she first started sending letters to Charles Manson. For those who don't know, he was an infamous cult leader who was serving serious time behind bars. By the time Afton Elaine turned 26, she was already engaged to him. Anyway, it's no secret that the pair shared quite a weird relationship, but it turns out the main reason she wanted to marry him was so that she could inherit his corpse. She actually wanted to put it on display and turn it into a tourist attraction. Visitors would come and pay to see it. In the end, the pair never married and Manson passed away in 2017. For more Seven Sins Crime, remember to hit the plus. A lot of people have been tagging me in this video so I'm here to explain the backstory to this situation. The man you see in the video is named Toy Toy. He confessed to killing his girlfriend by stabbing her 20 times in a blind rage. He was also arrested at the same house where the crime happened. Her body was still lying on the floor dead. Toy Toy claims that they both got into an argument after they got drunk and that his girlfriend got into the kitchen to get a knife to try and harm herself. He then tried to take the knife away from his girlfriend but his girlfriend ended up stabbing herself 20 times in the chest. Or that's what he said. He later confessed that he was actually responsible for the stabbing in the chest 20 times. Reason being is because Pim May, his girlfriend, was gonna throw him out of the house. And that he got really mad and just stabbed her 20 times in the chest and she just lied there dead. Apparently Pim May was suffering from depression and bipolar disorder. This is due to the fact of past lovers that she had who were abusing her. And she was posting photos on Facebook about it. Like and follow for more. Just one thing that we have in common Neither of us will be missed St. Bernard sits at the top of the driveway You always said how you love dogs I don't know In Jericho, New York, a man finally found out what was inside the heavy barrel in his crawl space. In 1999, a new homeowner demanded that the old barrel that was in the crawl space be removed before he closed on the house. However, the previous owner said that it was there when he moved in. In fact, his kids used to play hide and seek behind it. So they pull it out to the curb and open it. A horrific smell wafts out of this barrel and they realize that the body of a woman had been shoved inside. She was a pregnant Hispanic female in her 20s and it was determined that she had been beaten severely. The drum also contained plastic pellets, artificial green dye, a fake plant stem, and a purse and a notebook. Using a special light, investigators were able to read the notebook and one page said, Don't be mad, I told the truth. Inside her purse, they also found a residency card and they were able to look up the immigration number. They found that the body belonged to a woman named Reina Marakin, and she worked at a synthetic flower factory in the 60s. One of the phone numbers in the address book belonged to a woman named Kathy Andrade, and investigators called her, and this woman immediately broke down in tears after hearing Reina's name. She told them that her friend had been sleeping with a married man. 
She got pregnant and he'd been giving her money and telling her that he'd leave his wife and kids for her. As she entered into the ninth month of pregnancy, she found out that this was all a lie and she freaked out and decided to call the wife and tell her everything. She then called Kathy and told her that the man had threatened to kill her. The last time she'd ever heard from Raina was January in 1969, but Kathy never knew the father of Raina's unborn child, so she didn't know who to refer the police to. After the discovery of the remains was made public, a man also left an anonymous tip with the police. He said that Raina had been sleeping with her boss at the synthetic flower factory. And who was this boss but none other than a man named Howard Elkins, one of the previous owners of the home. He sold the house in 1972, and when police located him at his new residence in Florida, he was extremely combative. The now old man denied everything and refused to give a DNA sample. He was found the next day in his neighbor's car with a shotgun wound to his head. He'd bought a shotgun from Walmart shortly after his police interrogation and taken the easy way out. DNA taken from Howard's body was a match to the fetus found in Raina's stomach. While justice wasn't necessarily served, this story does have a bittersweet ending. They contacted Reina's mother back in El Salvador and found that she had been wondering what happened to her daughter for 30 years after she moved to New York to work in fashion. And how creepy is this? Her mom had had recurring nightmares of her daughter being trapped in a small space screaming for help. Reina's body was transported back to El Salvador and her mother passed away just a month later and they were buried side by side. This case made me terrified to go to the cinema. This is the case of the horror in Screen 9. James Holmes was raised in California. His mum was a nurse and his dad was a scientist. From a young age, he was experiencing night terrors and allegedly actually tried to take his own life when he was just 11 years old. He was apparently obsessed with guns and weapons and had dreamed of becoming a mass murderer. Between May and July 2012, he legally bought four guns. Background checks were conducted and he was allowed the weapons. He also bought spike strips, which if you don't know, pop the tires of cars if they chase after you. On July the 19th, just hours before tragedy would unfold, James mailed his notebook to his psychiatrist. Inside the notebook, James detailed his plans to kill. The notebook was actually discovered later on undelivered. Just prior to entering a cinema in Aurora, James rang a crisis line to tell them about his plans to kill. However, the call was disconnected after just nine seconds. At the midnight showing of The Dark Knight Rises, CCTV captures James walking into the cinema. He walks into screen nine, props open the door and then walks back out again. Shockingly, he goes to his car and gets guns out and gas canisters. He re-entered the screen at about 12.38 p.m. and set off two gas canisters. When he entered screen nine again, he immediately opens fire on the audience, instantly killing 10 people. Two others later died in hospital from their injuries. An additional 70 people were injured. This was an absolutely packed out cinema. James also shot at people as they scrambled to exit the screen. His youngest victim was a six-year-old girl. Witnesses said this all unfolded as there was actually a gunfight on the screen and initially they all thought it was special effects and just part of the film. Police were actually on the scene very quickly after the first 911 call. James surrendered to the police and was arrested in the car park. He was apparently very, very calm when he was arrested and told police that he had booby trapped his apartment. When police investigated his apartment, this was found out to be true. He was sentenced to 12 consecutive life sentences. Hill County 911, what's your emergency? I just killed my children. Excuse me? I just killed my children. Where are you? Um, I'm in the abandoned house on Highway 77 right after you go underneath the highway. One of them's still alive. Hurry. How, under what highway? You're on Highway 77 where? I'm on Highway 77 right after you go under 35 going towards Milford. Get an ambulance out here to save the one that didn't die. Come on. Hurry up. What's your name? Bitch, call them. Have you already called them? Yes, ma'am, I have. Okay. I need your name. I don't want to tell you my name. Hello? Hello. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here.
727 toward Milford, right after you cross under the bridge. She's telling me she's killed her children. Are you in your car? No, I'm not in my car. I'm in the house walking around. And um, one of them's still alive, for real. She's asking to be saved, and I couldn't handle that. And so now she she's she's in an abandoned house. At it's that been location. a long time. She might already die because she's bled out. Okay. Well, I've got we've got people in route. Get an, get an ambulance because one of them's still alive. She said. Can you tell me what happened? Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Can you tell me what happened? I can't get the door open. You can't get what door open, darling? The front door, but y'all can come in when y'all get here. Why won't it open? I don't know. Hold on. Are you on the right hand side of the road or the left hand side of the road, sweetie? Okay, they're coming. They're coming. I just I would just want to try to clarify clarify exactly where they are. Can you tell me what happened? I don't want to say. I don't see any lights. They're not coming. Well, they're on their way. My partner's getting getting them to you just as quickly as she can. Okay. How many? How many children do you have? Oh. Huh? Yeah. Two. Two. Is dead. One of them is dead. She's dead, dead. But the other one, she wants to be saved, and I. She needs to be safe, and I don't see any lights. Tell them to get out here. Honey, they're coming. They're coming. Do you have any weapons? Um, I do. I have a knife. She has a knife. Should I throw it away? No, ma'am. Just, just put it in. She's got a knife. Can you not tell me what your name is? Oh. Huh? Oh. What's your name, darling? How old are your children? Hold on. Okay. Hurry up. Honey, they are coming. They're on their way. You should be hearing lights and sirens. Seeing lights and hearing sirens. Are you still with me? I'm still with you. Hello? I'm here. They're not here. They, they're on their way, sweetheart. They had to come from different parts of the county. Hold on, kid. They're coming. Tell them not to shoot me. I don't have a gun. Okay. She doesn't want to get shot because she doesn't have a gun. Okay. When they get there, uh -huh. I want you to lay the knife down. Out. When you get the door open, I want you to lay the knife down so they can see that you don't have any weapons. Okay. Oh my God, she's dead. Oh my God. How old are the children? I won't tell you. She wants you to hurry. Honey, they are coming. They're coming as fast as they can. They're trying to be sure. Do you see them? They're coming. Do you see them? Do you see them? No, I'll come here. They're coming. Hold on. Yeah, Can you see the lights? No. I see something down at the end of the road. I see car lights, but not, not fire lights, not police lights. She says this is in the driveway. She says they're in. She can see them. I hear them. Okay. Okay, you need to. I know, I understand that. I want. with my hands up. She's dead. By the house, both hands up, except for one. Because I'm on the phone. They're coming. She's, she's got her hands up, except for They're the coming. fact that the one that she's on the phone with. So she's out in the yard. She says she's out in the yard beside the house. Okay, goodbye. I see them. They're right here. Goodbye.